Doctor Who Space Pirates, Episode 5 A Siri Mining Office. Madeline. Wait, I never agreed to anything like this. Craven. If you didn't like it, if you don't like it, step outside for a moment. Madeline. I don't want any more killing. Craven. Too bad. Madeline. I warn you, Craven. Don't overreach yourself. Craven. I'll never do that. Madeline. Well then, just remember, I'm still running the operation. Craven. Are you? I do all the dirty work, the space piracy, the cat. General licensee, licensee. Milo, the first degree homicides. Craven, right. Clancy, well, well, all you do is sit there looking pretty and count the money. But that doesn't mean to, to say you're not guilty. Madeline, maybe, but I never agree to murder. Craven, well, you better agree to it because we won't get rid of these snoots. We don't get rid of these snoots, we both end... Snopes, we both end up in the Niverian chamber. Bellin, I don't want them killed. There must be some other solution. Toddy, yes, that's just got, that's, that's just got to be Craven Deuce. Craven turns away and the Doctor and Ryder realise Jamie's going to attack the guard. They grab him. Doctor Jamie, Jamie, let me go. Sorry, you don't stand a chance. Jamie relaxes. Craven whispers to one of his men who goes over to the prisoners. God, hurry, come on, hurry up. Out of the line, move yourselves, Doctor. All right. And no need to shout, Madeline. What are you going to do with them? Craven, don't worry. They're not going to be shot. Madeline, I don't trust you, Craven. Craven, I did. I told Phrase to lock them away under the dock complex. Ask him if you don't believe me. The dock. And co Doctor and Co were taken away from the room. Madeline, what made you change your mind all of a sudden? Craven, I had a better idea, that's all. Craven, Madeline, oh, yes? Craven, the space court ship is coming and becoming a nuisance. I thought a way of getting rid of it. V ship, V flight deck, weighing on monitor. I tracked the sections of the beacon right into the lobus, sir. Hammett, were they, were they being collected? Wayne and monitor. No, sir. They were in orbit around the planet. I made a landing at Clancy's base, but it looked pretty derelict to me. Hammett, no sign of Clancy himself. Wayne, I wanted to know, sir. I talked to some of the mining crew. They said he took off for several weeks ago. They haven't heard him since. Hammett, are you sure they're running, they're speaking the truth? Wayne and Monitor, I'm sure they are, sir. Made a pretty close re 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 recognize of the area. No pad insulation. Big enough to take a beta dart, beta dart the size of pirates, you, sir. Hammock, if there is one, it's certain to be camouflaged. Wayne and Monitor, well, I checked the va radio. radiation traces, sir. No, I say the planet has not been used by a ship with atomic drive. Hammock, but the sections are out of... Four, I'm going collection orbit around Lobus. How do they, do you explain that? Wayne on monitor. Well, it's probably done, been down to sidetrack us, sir, uh, to put us off the, the pirate's real base. Hermic, all right, Ian. We move in and find them. Bring in that minnow, bring that minnow in. Minnow in. Wayne on monitor. It, I'm on my way sir, home, sir. Hermic, pen, pen, sir. Hermic, I... It's called XX2. Give Major Wayne a beacon signal to home in, home on. Pen, yes, sir. Hammock, pen. Major Wayne thinks that some beac those beacon sections were diverted to Lobus to mislead us. What was their course when our scanners first picked them up? Pen, I got the pilots on the community, compute plots on the community, sir. That's their original course. Hammock, ah, can you protect a destination for that data? Pen, I'm just doing that, sir. Oh, that course, the beacon sections would eventually have been drawn into an electrical orbit. 
around the planet of Tar. Have it, Tar, I see, thank you, Pen. Corridor, the prizes are taken along a metal corridor, lined with pipes and cables. Zoe, where are you taking us? A guard unlocks a heavy door and gestures to them to go in. Doctor, has anyone got a light? It's very dark in there. Muller, we're right under the freighter dock. Guard, hurry up inside. In his Ely's study. The room has been decorated like a little wooden study. A light from the ventilation grill illuminates a portrait. Marlow. Land snake's alive. It's Don itself. Doctor what? Marlow, that picture is Don Lucille. So, sorry, Madeline's father? Marlow. Yeah. Well, wait a moment now. This year. This is the old fellow's private study. Land snake's. It's years since I've been in here. Doctor. You don't happen to remember where the light switch is, do you, Marlow? Marlow, you wouldn't find a light switch, Doctor. You might find some candles or something. Jamie candles? Marlow, yeah. Jamie in his day, this day and age? Marlow, oh, an oil lamp or something? Hey, boy, look at the, in that cupboard. You might find something. Yeah, yeah. He was an old-fashioned romantic old critter, was old Dom. He bought all his furniture. He bought, the, all, bought all them books and everything from Earth, you know. Sorry. Are these candles, Doctor? Oh, well done, Zoe. Yes, a whole box of them. Zoe. Well, how do they work? Jamie, how do they work? Doctor, you take them and I'll show you. Jamie, we need to light a flint box. Doctor, all right, Jamie. I've got some matches. Now, you just light the wick. You see, Vic, Vic, the wax allows the wick to burn slow, fairly slowly. There you are. My word. Good Lord. This is very interesting. There's a gramophone player, an old radio set, a grandfather clock ticking away to itself. Marlow, hey doctor, you know there's one thing I can't quite understand. It's why Madeline let Craven put us in here. So why? Marlow, well, like I said, it used to be the old fella's private study. She had it all locked up, so I was told. It disappeared. She swore that nobody would ever come in here again. Jimmy, nobody has. Look at the dust everywhere. Look. Doctor, I think someone's been in here quite recently. Jamie, huh? Mother, well, why do you say that, Doctor? Doctor, the clock. Jamie, what about it? Doctor, it's an eight-day movement, Jamie. Doctor, well, why would anyone come down here just to wind a clock? Doctor, yes, that's what I'm wondering. Doctor, oh, sorry, oh, Doctor. Oh, oh, Doctor, Doctor, what is it? Sorry, Doctor, look. A bare foot is sticking out from beneath a converted table. Cover table. Doctor removes the cloth to view a frightened old man. Dom, don't hurt me, please. Is there any mining office? Devilish, a monitor. Beta Buccaneer to control. We're now in landing orbit. Give me clearance to pad. Cavendish. Craven. Hello, Devilish. Bring the ship down. Pad free. Got mine? Devilish, a monitor. Pad free, right. Transition ends. Craven. A nose. Cones work, by the way. I'll put the space corpse right off the scent. Well, in how next moon will be back, though. I mean, it's only a matter of time before they realise that there's nothing on Lopus. And the pirates must be based here. Craven, do you think I haven't precipitated that? Men, ought we put our emergency plan in operation? Craven, flood the workings. Lose all our experiments? Merlin, we have no alternative, Hermex men. We'll find our agonite cement implants. We'll be ferried back to home, planning to face a capital charge. Craven, I think we have an alternative. If it works, we'll be in position to restart operations after a discreet interval of time, of course. Merlin, what exactly have you in mind? Craven, Hermex thinks of Crancy's behind the space privacy. He found his old ship, Liz, an abandoned freighter dock. I'm going to have it fitted with an overriding control. Remote control. That'll put Clancy's friends aboard. Then we put Clancy's friends aboard and boost them into orbit. Just when Hermit's V-ship comes into scanner range. Hermit, so that they pick Clancy up. That's crazy. He'll t- tell them everything. He'll blow the craven. Don't worry, the space corp won't get a word out, Clancy. Or those friends of his. Merlin, no, I'll not be party to murder. When all this started, it was going to be... It was going to be a salvage operation. Base flots from you, said. But then the pirates say, now murder? Craven, you're talking, you're taking a cut of profits, Madeline. Yes, but because it's too late, I'm involved. Craven, you want, you want to get rid of C- 
Clancy, I propose to do it permanently. Madeline, but you cold bloody deliberate murder? No, I will not let you do it. Craven, I don't think you've given not got much choice, Madeline. You're threatening me? Craven, you may be the head of the Zeri mining company. Very put them back on earth. But on this planet I have twice as many men as you, and mine all armed. I don't have to fake threats. I'm telling you not to interfere. Craven, old devilish, we're discussing a space accident. Devilish, oh where? Craven, I haven't quite decided where it takes place yet. Devilish, I'm sorry, I don't get it. Craven, don't worry. I want you to go down the abandoned, to the abandoned freight, to freighter dock. Devilish, you find an old C-class ship there on the de- pad. Take some men with you and fit it out with a remote control guidance unit. Devilish, now, what now? But look, Craven, I've got only got just, just got back. Craven, Craven, this is important, devilish, devilish, all right. If you say so, what's it for? Craven, don't ask questions. Get on with it. Devilish, right. Craven, oh, and by the way, devilish, yes. Craven, it's a very old ship. Did I say that? Practically falling apart. I want, I want the oxygen pump rigged so it goes full, it does fall apart. Say about five minutes after Blast off. In Sarah's study, Jamie, Jamie restrains the old man who is threatening, flashing in terror at Milo. Dom, Dom, look at me, Dom. Don't you know me? Dom, it's me, Milo, Milo Clancy. Dom, I'm your old partner. Dom, no, leave me, leave me, no. Don't hurt me. Not again, please. Zoe, are you sure it's Dom, is there any? Milo, of course it's Dom, is there any? I was closer to that man than a brother for, for 15 years, is Dom. All right. What's it? What have they done to him? Doctor, Jamie, Jamie, let him go. Do- Jamie, what? Doctor, well, he's obviously so frightened. You can't make him work. Can't make him work. We can't make him worse. Look out. Milo, Dom, Dom. There's there. He backs in the corner. Milo, what is the world has happened to him? Doctor, well, can't expect him to believe. Normally, we don't, we don't know how long he's been down here. Milo, but listen, Maddy. Wouldn't have done a thing like this to him. Jamie, not. Not her own father, Doctor Milo. Go and talk to him quietly. But oh yeah, well yeah yeah, all right. I'll do that. Hey, listen. What am I going to talk to him about, Doctor? Talk to him about the things he might remember. Milo. Oh, might. Oh well. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now, Dom. Now it's only. No, it's only Milo. Dom. It's only Milo. Your old partner. All right. Hey, listen, Dom. I got still got Liz. You know, Dom. Remember old Liz? We used to fresh. From here to home planet in, remember that time we had a race, those three ships and ordered the registrar of State Lobos? You remember that race, Dom? Mother takes a crumpled photograph from his pocket. Mother, wasn't that, 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 when little Madeline was born? Dom, Madeline, Maddie, Merlo, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Remember that? We made a record return trip. It took them, it took them, it took them 15 years to beat the time we did. Then, Dom, I thought that old Liz was going to split into two. Remember, Dom? Dom, meddling, Maddie, meddling. Well, no, it's her. That's her, Dom. That's her. That's her, uh, your daughter, Dom. Why must she have, Why? She must have been about six years old when that was taken. But oh, Dom, five, only five, oh, poor Madeline, Madeline. Well, oh, well, da- oh, well, Dom. What about your other picture you had, the colour picture you had of her? You know, Madeline, in a red dress. Have you still got that picture, Dom? Corridor outside, Madeline walks up to the guard. Madeline? Madeline. Where are those, are those prisoners? The guard, Stephen Well. Madeline, in there? What are you doing in there? As my father's study have given orders... For that door to be kept locked. Guard, Chief said to put you in there. Madeline, Craven, give me that key. Guard, Chief says nobody's to enter, Madeline. Look, you know who I am. I ordered you to give me that key. Guard, I can't do that. Sorry, Madeline. You will do. Madeline leaves. The guard calls to the colleague. Guard, freeze. Here's a, here a minute. Go and tell the Chief. Mrs. riley has been down. Here, trying to get in to see the prisoners. And tell him she's in a flaming temper about it. 
If there is study to Dom, it is Milo Clancy, it's Milo, Milo, it's Dom, it is old Dom, Milo, Dom, Milo. Dom, hey, come on, old fella, you sit down here while you have, we'll be, we'll be nice and comfortable. No, there you are, come on, I'll tell you something, Dom, we're friends here. Dom, friends? So he's caught you too, he's caught us all. All of us. Toto, you mean, Craven? Dom, you never get out of here. Never. We'll all die here, I tell you. Toto, I think we shall get out of here. How long have you been down here? Dom, for how long? I don't know how many. Long me years. They came for me one night by night to the guns. Dom, three? Who did? Mother, Dom. Who was it? Craven, Dom? Dom, Dom you know Craven? Mother, yes. Dummy's evil, ruthless. They brought me down here and kept me like a rat underground. Milo explains how he disappeared. Craven kidnapped him. Very well, what, what, why not do that? Milo, because he wanted to drive, drive a wedge between Madeline and me. He wanted to take over the company. Tell me, I know, but why keep him prisoner all this time? I mean, surely it would be easier to, for them to have killed him, done, and, and be done with it. Tutter well. What have we, what we have seen of Craven? I think he's always has a good reason for doing things, Jamie. So you mean Mr. Zuri is still of some value to Craven in some way? Doctor, yes, I think so, Zuri. Well, Dom, we shall just have to escape, won't we? Dom, escape? The door's the only way out of here. Doctor, are you quite sure? Milo, what? Of course I'm quite sure. Oh, Dom, we built, he built this room. Jamie, I, Milo, he had, he had it out of living rock. The door is the only way out. Doctor, yes, but it's also the only way in. Zari's mining office to the British. You find the ship out at the old freighter beyond the perimeter. Use one of the tractors to get the stuff out here there and hurry. I need it need it quickly. Don't forget to the thermo capability capability. Capitulators. Madeline enters. Madeline? Where's Craven? Devish. Oh, he's on level three, I think. One of the guards just came in asking for him. Devlin, Madeline. Guards. Maronic brutes. Devilish. Well, Madeline, look, Devilish. You want to tell his man and a qualified astronaut. Astronaut. Astro engineer. How did you get mixed up with a criminal like Craven? Kevin. Craven. Devilish, I made a mistake once, just once. McCraven found out about it. Madden, there must be a way. There must be a way of finding him. I don't realise what I got involved in and until I saw him shoot that man today. Devilish, oh, you can't fight Craven. Madden, not alone. But if he helped me, he might be able to. Devilish, no, look, I won't want to talk. I don't want to talk about it. I know Craven. I know what he's capable of. I believe he'll kill us both. If he had been suspect, he had suspected we were talking like this. Madeline, you've got to help me. We're only two who can stop him. Devish, I'm sorry, Madeline. He's planning to kill those prisoners. Devish, we can't let him murder four innocent people. Devish, oh, please, let me go. I've got to, got to work to do, Madeline. You are as guilty as he is. Devish, please, Madeline goes to the video communicator, Madeline. Madeline, this is a Zuri control to V ship. One, the Zuri control to General Hermick. Space Corps, it's, please note that, uh, come on band, 396, this is Azuri Control. V sh- ship flight deck, pen, sir, Wayne, what is it, pen? Pen, radio call from Missouri Control. Hemmock, what do they want? Pen, it's a woman's voice, sir. Sir, very faint. I'll put it through the M5 fire. Madeline, Missouri Control. Calling General Hemmock. Come in. Band 36, Missouri Control. Calling Space Cops. Hemmock, did you get that band, Pen? Pen, coming up on the video, sir. Hemmock, be a minister to Missouri Control. We're seeing you now. Banding on the blue screen. Listen, General, you got to get international ends. Hammock, what the blue blazes? Open the connection again, Pen. Pen, it's all open, sir. Somebody's pulled a plug at the other end. A theory mining office, Craven. Obviously, I'll get there just in time.
I got there in time. And why did you see the prison? Got and why did you try to see the prisoners, Madeline? Why do you think to tell him what you planned, Raven? So I didn't I can't rely on you anymore, Madeline. No, you better put me in with, with them, Craven. Oh no, you got you. You not outlived your usefulness, Madeline. If you think, if you think for one moment that I'm going to help you in any way. Craven, you're going to do exactly as I tell you, Madeline. Madeline, you really are mad, aren't you, Craven? Because if you don't, you have your father flogged. I ought to tell you, he's not the best of health. Madeline, oh, but my father's died, dead. Madeline, he's alive. As you can perhaps see from his photograph taken only a few weeks ago, I thought you might need a help with the, to be cooperative. Madeline, where is he? Craven, his study, where else? You, when you ordered the room to be kept locked, I thought it would be the safest place to put him. Madeline, you? You let me, let me throw. What are you done with my father? Let me f- see him. Let me see him. But please, let me. Craven, before we get to that far, we talk about how you're going to help me, shall we? Because that's much more important. V flight deck pen. It's no use, sir. There's not a peep of out of Missouri control. Hermec, what do you think, Ian? Ian Wayne. I have given a lot of. I have given a lot to have held a contract for no contact for another ten seconds. So I wonder what she's going to say. Hermec, she looked worried. Wayne, sir, if, the, if those sections of the beacons were really on course for tar, Hermec, so they were quickly. So they were, according to our computer readings. Wayne, well, suppose Clancy diverted them to Lopus, led us to get us out of the way so that his gang could raid their Zeri headquarters. Hermec, that would be a big operation, even for a crew as well disciplined as the pirates appeared to be. Wayne, well, is not, if not, it, not if, if he had a base on another planet, sir. Hermec, I suppose it's possible, Ben. Set cooks for tar, Pan. Right, sir, Hermec, we can swing back there, make sure that it's, everything's in order. And anyway, I saw you study, Dom. Doctor Dom, the grills over the door. Dom leads. Dom leads out to the passage outside. Still, is three inches thick. I tell you, it's hopeless. I spent my first years down here working on the hinge. You'll see, it's hardly marked. Hardly marked. Doctor, I wasn't thinking of brute, using brute tra- strength. Well, not too much brute strength. Jamie, it's not an old lock, is it? Doctor, no, Jamie, it isn't. Doctor, oh, that's a relief, Doctor. Jamie, I think you don't appreciate all I do for you, Milo. Milo, yeah, Doctor. Supposing we could get out of this room. Do you think you could find your way back to our spaceship, Milo? Yeah, well, if you, if you want to get me out of this room. Doctor, shh, Milo, what? Oh, there's, what's... What am I going to say? I see you apart. You see, apart from those guards there, we can get past through the, those guards. Well, they wouldn't track us down in those tunnels. I know those tunnels are at like the back of my hand. Doctor, splendid. Right, Zoe, hand out those candles. Time at a time, do do. Doctor, Jamie, what for? Doctor, wait just a minute, Doctor. Jamie, I'll tell you. But where did I put my bag of marbles? Is there a really mining office? Madeline, I'm sorry, General. We had a technical failure. Pamac, monitor. Is that what happened? You went out in his message. Madeline, yes. I was just saying that you might get the pirates soon. General, one of, the, of my friends is just landed and the captain says that his ship was attacked at Mermac. Monitor, well, where was this? Man, I'm just entering the vet sector. He tells me that he was able to outrun them. Hermac, Monitor, yeah, you've, you had us worried. They're heading back to our planet now. Madeline, that's a quite unnecessary, General. There's nothing wrong here. Hermac, Monitor, I'm glad to hear it. We'll be, we, Got some checking to do the to do there anyway. Madeline, I see. Well then, I'll get the landing pad cleaned for you. 
I make a monitor. Fine, and thank you for contacting us. Transmission ends. Madeline finished satisfied. Craven, yes, you shouldn't have tried to divert them. I'm counting on the ship returning devilish. How are things coming along, devilish monitor? It was complete insulate, insulation. I'm running a test on it now. Craven, good. Let me know as soon as you're, uh, are you are ready. Was there is study. Just inside the study, some sub doorway, is a layer of candle wax that has been smeared across the floor. Then the doctor pours his marbles along it. Doctor Wright, there you are. I think we have enough wax. That should be enough wax, Doctor. Sorry, what are you what, are you sure it'll work, Doctor? Well it usually does, Jamie. Jamie, pass that marble, will you? Jamie, this one? Doctor the Greenman, thank you very much. It's one of my favourites. Now, what have you got, Dom? Dom, an old shirt and an old astronautical journal. Doctor, you, know, you should make plenty. Of, that should make plenty of smoke. Right then, is everybody ready? A doctor takes him a tray of articles and stands on a chair beside the door. He strikes a match while the others arm themselves. Doctor, you know what I what you, I, you have to do. Well, yeah, Doctor, ready? Doctor sets the fire to his shirt and black book. Corridor, smoke pours for the grilled cloud quince. Come quick, here quick. Two guards charging the study, the skid on the works, and marble sending him tumbling down, face down. So he smashes a vase on one, and now are Marlow and Jamie take care of the other. It's saying, it's Sari, mining office. Craven, and you says, fools, you, you'll be punished for that. God, it wasn't our fault, Chief. Craven, come on, get moving. Get those prisoners. With any luck, they'll be shot in complete idiotic. Don't imagine any... Don't imagine they can get away. There's nowhere to get to go now, Madeline. We can't... We can't... If you can't get... If we haven't caught them by the time the escape scouts get here, you'll realise we're in trouble. Oh, are you, aren't you? But... Uh, Great Chief Muller here. Our prisoners have been spotted on level three. Craven, what, what, which, uh, uh, which way to the building? Miller. Muller, OC, towards the old freighter dock. Craven, Clancy's an old spaceship, of course. Listen, Miller, don't try and stop them. You understand? Let them reach the piloted freighter jet dock. Miller, okay, Chief. I got, I'll call the patrols in. Craven, I think your friends intend to see me. A lot of trouble. Once they've got their old crate into space, I can cut the remote control at any time. Is there a man in the office? Craven, less useless fools. He'd be punished for this. Craven, it wasn't my, f- it wasn't our fault, Chief. Craven, go on, and get moving. Get over those prisoners. If any luck, you'd be shot. Imbico, imcompo, com, imcom, penitent, incompetent, idiotic. Don't imagine they can get away. There's nowhere to go, Madeline. If they go, haven't caught up by the time the space corps get here, you really are in trouble, aren't you? Murder. Hello, Chief. Murder here. The prisoners have been spotted at level three. Graham, which way are you, are you heading? Is there a mining office? Craven, the useless fools. You'll be punished for this, Craven. God, it's not our fault, Chief. Craven, go on, get moving. Get off the prisoners. Have any luck? If they'll be shot, incompetent, idiotic. Don't imagine they can get any away. There's nowhere to go for them to go, Madeline. If they haven't caught them by the time the space cops will get, get here, you can really, they, you, then you really are in trouble, aren't you? Miller, hello, Chief. Miller here. Prisoner's just been spotted on level three. Craven, which way are they heading? Miller, towards the old freighter dock. 
Craig and Crancy's old spaceship, of course. Listen, Miller, don't try and stop them, you understand? They haven't reached the freighter dock. Miller, okay, Chief, I'll call the patrols in. Craven, I think your friends intend to save me a lot of trouble. Once they get the old crate out into space, I can cut the old remote control. Anyway, in the time I like, let's stop the action and deliver a cargo of dead pirates to General Hermick. Madeline Craven, you can't do that. My father's with them. Craven, yes, he'd been, a, he'd been better off staying where he was, wouldn't he? Is seventy nine. Milo, come on, Dom. Come on, Doctor. Come on, Dom. You're in. In you go, Doctor. What's happened to Jamie and Zoe? I think I ought to go back for them, Milo. Don't you worry about them. Probably. They're probably just checking up. We've been followed. If we haven't been followed, Doctor, what are you doing, Milo? Just getting ready to leave take off, Doctor. But well, don't worry. Come on. I can't. I can't. I won't go without them. Is there any money in the office? Devilish and monitor. Control reports of these ships on approach path. Craven already? All right, listen. We can't afford to wait to, for Clancy to take that ship out. Activate the overriding unit now. Man, no. Craven, you understand, Devilish. Boost that crate in the orbit immediately. Liz 79. Doctor, I don't understand. I don't, can't understand what's happened to them. I'm going back. The doctor leaves. Mallow. Don't be long. Tell them to hurry. Well, heck. The engines start up. The ship begins to shake. Mother, what? That, that's a rocket drive. We're taking off. Mother wrestles with the controls. Mother, the doctor, we're burning to a frazzle with it in the blast. My internal, the doctor's caught in the back blast of the rockets. Toto, oh no. He falls to the ground, overwhelmed by the foams. <laughs>